Hi, I'm Tyrell Gill. Uh, this video is going to have a couple workouts in it for you that you can do this week, whether it's at home or at your gym. Uh, just get you started with some, some basic movements. I'll show you the, the exercises and how they should be performed, and hopefully uh, this can be a weekly thing if, if it works out well. So the first thing we're going to do is workout number one. It's going to be as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes of three push-ups, six sit-ups, and nine squats. Then it's going to be a plank hold, 20 seconds, times two, so we're gonna do two plank holds. We're gonna rest 60 seconds in between the planks and finish with a side bridge, 30 seconds per side, just one on each side. So going through this workout, First, we're going to start with three push-ups. So in the push-up, to start, we want to make sure our hands are below our shoulders. From our ankles to our hips to our shoulders are all going to be in line. Coming all the way down, full range of motion is touching your chest on the ground, sternum, and, sternum or above, locking out your elbows at the top. So you'll do your three push-ups, making sure your body moves as one, as one large plank. Then we're going to move to six sit-ups. In the sit-ups, we'll put our feet in a butterfly position, having the soles of our shoes together. We're going to go down until we touch our shoulders. You can use your hands as you come up, reach up past your toes, that's a full sit-up. Shoulders touch, reaching up past your toes, okay? Six sit-ups. Then we're going to go into nine squats. Now a few things to focus on when we're squatting here. Feet shoulder width apart. Toes pointed out about 30 degrees. And as we go down, four things we're focusing on keeping weight in our heels, keeping our chest up and our back nice and flat, and going full range of motion so that our hip crease is down below the top of the knee, driving the hips up out of the bottom. Okay? As we come down, making sure our knees are pushing out, tracking out over our feet. Something to look for and not do is squatting with the weight on the balls of the feet, the heels come up, our knees will be pushed forward past our toes, that puts our knees in a bad situation. So, keeping our weight back in our heels, full range of motion, full squats. Okay? So as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes, you're gonna go through three push-ups, six sit-ups, nine squats, just keeping track of your total rounds in 10 minutes, rest when you have to. Modification for the exercises, Push-ups really only need to be modified uh, if you can't go all the way down and all the way up. So modification would be on the knees, from the knees to the hips to the shoulders, in a nice line, touching the chest on the ground, coming all the way up to full extension. For the plank hold, we're going to go 20 seconds, and it's just the top of the push-up. Okay, so we're going to hold it here nice and tight. Again, from the ankles to the hips to the shoulders, all in line, heads in a neutral position. It's not up here not down here, holding this nice and solid. We'll do one for 20 seconds, rest for a full minute, another for 20 seconds. Going to finish with the side bridge, working on our core stability. Elbow is below our shoulder, and we're nice and straight through here. We don't have our feet out in front of us, and we also aren't hunched forward like this. Now if you do need to modify this one, you can put your foot in front or your hand, trying to stay up for 30 seconds, We'll switch sides, 30 seconds on the other side. So that is workout number one. Workout number two. We have two sets, max rounds in three minutes, rest three minutes of 10 step ups and five push ups. Then we're gonna go with single leg hip lift, 20 seconds per side for three sets, resting 60 seconds in between, okay? So on these step-ups, it's going to be 10 step-ups per leg. So stepping up all the way to where the other foot is on, opening our hips to the top. This is open hip, this is a closed hip. Opening the hips to the top, stepping off, you can switch legs, but making sure you get five reps each leg. Okay? So 10 step-ups. Then we're going to move to push-ups again. Same full range of motion. Use the modification if you have to. All five push-ups. So you're going to cycle through these for three minutes. You're going to go ten step-ups, five each leg, five push-ups, ten step-ups, five push-ups. Keep going through that as many rounds as you can in three minutes. We're going to rest three minutes and then do a second set of three minutes. To finish the workout, we're going to do single leg hip lift, 20 seconds per side. 
So starting out, we're gonna to want to lift our hips up to where just our shoulders are touching. We're gonna extend one leg and make sure that it's at the same angle as our other thigh that's planted on the ground. We'll hold this for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna switch legs, keep our hips up. 20 seconds on each side, then rest 60 seconds. Perform three sets, okay? So that should get you through two workouts for the week. Uh, if you can, you can go through these two times per week. So it would give you four workouts or adding something like walking, um, some low level activity like that is gonna help. Remember, anything is better than, than not moving at all right now at this point, okay? Uh, for, the, for the step ups, if you don't have a box, you can use a stepping stool or maybe your steps stepping up to your second step. So find something that works, um, be creative. Also, uh, check out uh, Tyrell Gill at Windy City CrossFit, Tyrell Gill Personal Training at Windy City CrossFit on Facebook, and that's where I'm gonna continue to post the videos. Uh, it's on Facebook. Thanks.